Artist Ruth Ozawa practiced drawing daily. It was the center of gravity in her creative journey and an integral part of her life as an artist and educator. Drawing was both essential and generative, an exercise she likened to scales for musicians. Her impulse to draw was about more than mere pleasure. She drew to see, to know, to record, to heal, and to nurture the world around her, as well as to imagine what might exist beyond the visible. Azawa was an American artist of Japanese descent with European-based artistic training. She enrolled at Black Mountain College, an experimental liberal arts school outside of Asheville, North Carolina, where she studied under the former Bauhaus professor Joseph Albers and the architect and inventor Buckminster Fuller. No longer in existence, this school had a deep impact on the generation of creative individuals. In her classes, she explored color combinations and the play of positive and negative space. As Awa had learned people falling as a child, and she returned to the arts at Black Mountain College, pushing the structural and visible possibilities of paper. She continued making paper folds in the coming years, exploring color contrast, dimensionality, and movement. For her, paper became a material that she used to construct three-dimensional drawings. The artist was resourceful and recognized the aesthetic potential in found objects. She used stamps found while working in a summer job in the laundry room to make striking graphic compositions. And later, she used objects like potatoes and back pedals as drawing implements, creating abstract forms and arrangements. Perhaps her best known body of work, Azawa's form within a form root wire sculptures. For the artist, working with wire was a natural extension of drawing on paper, transferring the line of ink into metal and moving it into space. Intrigued by the growth patterns she observed in nature, Azawa created layered and radiating compositions inspired by tree rings, flowers, and vegetables from a garden. One generative drawing challenge that Azawa faced was to portray the desert plant's branching forms. She struggled to draw the plant in two dimensions and therefore turned to sculpture to better understand its structure. Beginning with a bundle of wire at the center, and dividing it as she worked outwards, she untangled the plant's complexities. She then turned back to the sheet, creating a series of related drawings. As I explained, I try to explore the total capacity of materials and techniques. Often that takes me where I would not otherwise go. In her ink paintings, she embraced the potential of her chosen materials, finding the forms of gnarled trees in her splatters and pools of ink. Drawing was a means not only to connect with nature for the artist, but also to weave a sense of community. The San Francisco Bay Area was Ruth Azawa's home for over 60 years. She was deeply invested in her community, her family, friends, and colleagues. Drawing was a through line in her practice, the connective tissue across her life and work as an artist, educator, and community leader.